And then there are those who are one step away from state. The boys competing in sectional finals around the state this afternoon in Division One to peer back in the sectional final against Marquette. And after falling one step short of state the last two years, good start here. Gabe Herman with a three eight to two early lead, but Marquette cut it to one. Then John Kinzinger heats it up. Then Hogan Damoski pushes the Redbird lead to double digits. Then Zach Kinzinger driving scores to make it 30 to 16 at the break. To the second we go and the floodgates open. Will Hornseth here attacking DePier. Had them doubled up during much of the second half and they win it 57 to 29. You know, we fell short in this game the, the past two years, so this one just means a lot to me. It means a lot to the guys, and we're excited to see what's ahead now. Uh, we're not finished. we got two more wins to get, and we're going to get back to work and practice this week. It feels great, but I'm, I'm ready to play again. I'm ready for next weekend. Having to earn it and having to go through some heartbreak, I think, does add to it. And Nina looking to defend their title, so the road to do so still wide open. Rockets beating Superior 93 to 65. So they're headed to the state tournament for the 29th time in program history. They hold the record for most appearances. Alrighty, D2 West Superior trying to get past Nicolay. The Knights come out hot here, double digits in the first, but Phantoms with a run of their own. Down one, Andrew Bumgart spinning to the basket, gets his team the 28-27 lead and some more back and forth. Second half tied at 35. Riley Kraft in the corner for the three to regain the lead again. Bumgart adding to that, gets that one to drop. So they're leading by five, but not for long because then later tied at 40. Nicolay finds their groove again. Damon Landrum gives the Knights the lead and they don't lose it. West Appear falling 66 to 59. Also in D2, New London falling 48 to 44 in their sectional final to Lacrosse Central. All right, to Oshkosh North in the D3 sectional final. Top seed Brilliant against top seed Xavier. Back and forth early, pretty backdoor cut by Xavier's Luke Crawl. So the game's tied. Then Parker Braun breaking ankles too with that crossover. Beats the horn. Brilliant up 39 27 at the half. And they would build that lead to as much as 16. Jeremy Lorenz leading the Lions with 24 points in the game. But a furious rally by the Hawks closes the gap to three in the final 10 seconds. Alex Sherwood after a steal, but Brilliant ices it at the line and they win 77 73 to make it to Madison for the second straight year. I think it's because we came up short last year. There, there was a lot of expectations on us coming into the year and it was it was kind of an expectation for us to make the state and that's a quite the expectation to have. So this year it's just we know we don't want to come home with a loss in the first game like we did last year and so it's kind of just unfinished business. And in Division Four, St. Mary Catholic facing Auburndale. Zephyr is down 51-50 here in the second. Charlie Knackers with a spin move to the basket to take the lead. So they're going to add to that. Owen Ripley here off the inbound. They go up by three. Then Eagles, well, they're going to put up a fight. Less than a minute, Caden Weinfer with the three to make this a one-point game. But St. Mary Catholic holding on. Zephyrs win it 75-70. to They're headed to state. Daniel Griffith with 24 points in this one. But it just shows that hard work pays off. It feels so good because we've worked so hard to get here and we finally did it. Uh, we count on just taking care of the ball, you know, making the right plays, getting stops. We need to get stops. We worked on defense all year and when we needed stops, we got them and then we made our free throws. In D4, uh, Kohler falling to Kenosha St. Jones 77 to 68. And then on to D5, Gibraltar trying to get back to state. Uh, they have to get by Newman Catholic. Vikings going blow for blow with Newman. Mateo Jargai gets the bucket and he's fired up with that one for the Cardinals. Jackson Fender here for three in the corner. Newman starting to pull away, but Vikings scrappy to beat the one, two and four seeds to get here. Carl Burgess helps cut Newman's lead to a two score game, but Newman Catholic holds on to win at 66 to 54. And